Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a benchmarking test comparison between HTC U11 and HTC U11 Plus smartphones. Both of these devices, they are basically same in terms of hardware specs and software as well. The only difference is that HTC U11 Plus, it comes with 6 inch screen and U11 comes with a 5.5 inch screen. Both of these devices, they got 4GB RAM variant with 64GB internal storage and 6GB RAM variant with 128GB internal storage. So the difference between these two devices here is that U11 got 4GB RAM and 64GB internal storage and U11 Plus it got 6GB RAM and 128GB internal storage. And the benchmarking applications we got today here, they are entry benchmarking, Geekbench 4, GFX Band GL, Basemark X, Basemark OS 2 and Quadrant Standard. We have already performed all of these tests and we are going to have a look on the test score result and then we will compare that which device performed better in which test. So let's start it. So first of all let's start with entity benchmarking. And here we go. So, U11 scored 178,999, basically it's 179,000 we can say, and U11 Plus scored 182,720. So, as you can see that in this test, the winner is U11 Plus. And if you go to the individual test score result, you can compare the result here as well. So. In 3D graphics, performance of U11 Plus is better. Also in UX, when it comes to CPU, the difference is not much, very minute. And the same goes with the RAM. You can see in CPU and RAM, the difference is very less in terms of benchmarking test score, but a bit more in UX and 3D graphics. But our main concern is overall test score. And in that performance of U11 Plus is better, including all of these individual tests. So in Android benchmarking, the winner is U11 Plus. Now let's have a look on Base Mark OS 2. Here we go. So U11 scored 3124 and U11 Plus scored 3346. And once again, you can compare the individual test score for system memory graphics and web browsing. And as you can see, that for system memory and the web browsing, Performance of U11 Plus is better, but when it comes to graphics, U11 performed a bit better compared to U11 Plus. But the difference is not much, only 10 points improvement in U11. But once again, our main concern is overall score and in that performance of U11 Plus is better. So in this test as well, U11 is the winner. Now let's have a look on Basemark X. It's a gaming benchmarking test, so basically it gives the idea about the performance of GPU. And here we go. So this time the winner is U11. It scored 44,750 and U11 Plus scored 44,709. So you can see that when it comes to GPU, both in Basemark X and Basemark OS 2, performance of U11 was a bit better compared to U11 Plus. So this time the winner is U11. Now let's have a look on Geekbench 4. In single core, HTC U11 scored 1916 and in multi core 6471. U11 Plus scored 1938 in single core and 6707 in multi core. So once again in CPU test, performance of HTC U11 Plus is better compared to HTC U11 and now let's have a look on compute test so in this test as well U11 plus is scored slightly better compared to U11 it is scored 8068 and U11 is scored 8007 so in Geekbench 4 in all of these two tests CPU and compute performance of U11 plus was better with respect to HTC U11 now let's go back and let's have a look on Quadrant Standard. HTC U11 scored 
3,874,870 and U11 Plus scored 35,320. So you can see that in this test as well, the winner is U11 Plus. And now it's time for GFX Bench GL. And here you can have a look on the individual test score for both of these devices and then you can compare. You can see that in all of these tests, performance of U11 Plus is slightly better. It's getting a bit more FPS on U11 Plus, even though the GPU is exactly same because of the more optimized Android OS and HTC Sense as well. But as you can see, the difference is not so much, but still. U11 Plus is scoring a bit better compared to U11 Plus. So both of these devices, they are great devices, but performance of U11 Plus is a bit better with respect to HTC U11. And you can give the credit to the more optimized OS because the hardware specs is exactly same in both of these devices. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands-on videos like this. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.